everybody. Yes, 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 yes. Good morning. Hopefully your morning is going well. Let's talk about bath and body work, of course. <laughs> so, um, same deal. There's not, there is a lot going on, but there's nothing new going on. As y'all do know, Bath and Body Works are doing their BOGO candle sales. So, if you want to get in on that, you got until Saturday. I'm not sure what's going to happen on Sunday because we haven't got any information about that. Also, yeah, as soon as you get into the stream, don't forget to thumbs up the stream. Thumbs up the stream. It helps with the algorithm. It helps you to know we out here in these streets. I'm just saying. We out here in these streets. So uh, go ahead and thumbs up the stream as soon as you come in. As soon as you come in. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up the stream. Yeah. <laughs> Also, I want to give a big old shout out to my MVP writers. Thank you for holding me down. Thank you for supporting me. And thank you for tuning in with me this morning on this. Let's talk about it. 10 minute chat. That's going to all go over. Where my bell? Where my bell? Where my bell? Yes, 10 minute chat that's going to always go over. So, yes, y'all, I'm going to put something on this. Um, Yeah, I'm going to put something on this so I don't have to hold it like that because I'm scared. I'm scared it's going to fly out my hand and I don't need no broken windshield. <laughs> so, yes, y'all. Um, So, yeah, shout out to everybody. Shout out to the replay gang and shout out to the emoji crew. Emoji crew. So, yes, y'all. Um, like I said, today. Bath and Body Works is still doing the BOGO candles. Buy one, get one free. Buy in two. So, yes, two, four, six, eight. Buy like that. And also, I failed to real, to uh, mention this yesterday, but I'm sure everybody knows. Hi, Trina. I'm sure everybody already knows that you kind of want to get items that's kind of similar in price. Like, uh, and this is just what I do. Because you got to remember, the free item is the lowest price item. So I personally try to get all $29.95 candles or all $24.95 candles or all $26.95. That's just what I do. So I ain't saying you got to do it, but for me, it just feels like I'm getting a better deal. But that's just me. So that's what I'm going to do. Like I said yesterday, y'all, I think I'm going to do two orders. I'm going to do a bopus order for the $29.95 items with a 25% coupon. Y'all know that brings the candles down to $11. And then when I go into the store, I'm going to grab some of the $24.95 candles, which brings those down to 25% coupon, bring them down to like nine something, I believe. I had the math in my... Uh, Yes, the $24.95, it would be $9.35. And I'm only going to grab like four. Because, like I said, the math ain't matching for me. I'm just saying. So, like I said, I try to get all 29 and then all 24. Um, There's a few of the $26 ones I want, but I don't know. I haven't figured that part out yet. <laughs> I haven't figured that part out, but I do know I want to get the Bridgerton collection. Yes, yes, yes. I need to get the Bridgerton collection. Um, I think I'm only going to get, I think I told you that yesterday. I'm going to get two of the shortbread one and two of the tea. Um, Queen Charlotte tea. I'm going to grab two of those and then one of the other ones, the Bridgerton study as well as with Cereal Garden. I'm only going to grab one of each of those. And if I like them, then maybe I'll grab them on the next sale. But as far as now, yeah, one and one of that one and two of the other ones. And I think I'm just going to be two and done. I'm not going to gonna do no, like my, my three, my backup is three. I'm not going to do that. I don't think this collection is going to be hard worthy for me, but has a good throw. The strawberry has a good throw. But leave in the comments, y'all. Leave in the comments. Is any of these hoard worthy? Leave that down in the comments because, again, I haven't burned them. I haven't bought them. 
I only got the wallflower and I haven't even did anything with the wallflowers yet. So leave in the comments, should, which one should we be running for? I hear so many people, good morning. I hear so many people talking about the shortbread, um, Danberg's um, shortbread one. I hear so many people loving that one. And that's really the only one I'm kind of hearing about. Nobody is really talking about the other ones. So I don't, I don't know, y'all. Nobody's talking about the soaps. Like none of the soaps is like run items. Nobody's talking about like the hand sanitizer. You must get this hand sanitizer because it's good. I haven't heard anything about that. Um, yeah, I'm, I, nobody's really. Now we were all I, hyped. We were all hyped for this collection. Nothing is run. Oh. It's good, but not see. And I understand. I understand. And the reason, and I agree. I agree. None of them is uh, run or worthy. Yes, if you a collector, yes, if you love candles, then yes, you want these candles. But I don't feel like they're run worthy. Get up, put your shoes on. Got to be first in line. No, I don't think so. Because like I told y'all before, Danberg shortbread is something that we kind of always get. We always get like cookie candles, super sugar cookie candles. We always get stuff like that. Um, with cereal garden to me now, again, this is just on cold sniff, smelling the wallflower. It gave me that green note, like evergreen, slightly. So that one wasn't um, run worthy for me. Um, Bridgerton study was very masculine to me. It's cool. And we... We do have masculine candles, but it wasn't nothing that kind of stood out for me. And Charlotte's Tea. Now, it's Queen Charlotte's Tea. I do like that one because we don't get a lot of tea notes. We don't get a lot of tea candles. So for me, yes, that one is one to grab, but is it going to fly off the shelf? No, I don't think so. So, yes, um, that's my whole take on that. Yeah. So I feel like I'm just going to be two and done and maybe one with the other ones and done. Uh, but y'all already know, everybody is talking about the everyday luxury. Everybody's talking about the everyday luxury. And I don't know if Bath and Body Works kind of played themselves because the Bridgerton collection and then the everyday luxury I kind of personally feel like the everyday luxury is kind of outshining the Bridgerton collab. That's just my opinion. What do y'all think? Leave that down in the comments. Do y'all feel like the everyday luxury is getting more hype than the Bridgerton collection? I personally think it is. I think before the collection came out, yes, we all was hyped and ready for the Bridgerton collection. We were super excited for, but Nobody knew that this everyday luxury collection was coming. Well, at least I didn't. I think people was calling it the beveled or something, but nobody was really, really talking about it. You know, um, we were talking more about Bridgerton. So now that this is out and we see that it's a luxury or designer perfume dupe, fine fragrance dupe, everybody's talking about it. Everybody's talking about it. Also, y'all. Season, no, spring three. We're going to say spring three. I was going to say spring two. But what do y'all think? What is the standout product for spring three? Even though we just begun uh, spring three and it's still a whole lot of stuff that's supposed to be released. But to me, so far, the standout stuff is these everyday luxury can, I mean, uh, fine fragrances. I feel like that's the standout thing. I was going to say spring too. Good morning. Right. Everybody, it done came out and I feel like, yeah, everybody's ready to move on. So, what do y'all feel like? What is the everyday? Yes, I agree. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, it is still um, expensive. The Bozo is still sort of expensive. But if you have a coupon, I don't know, have anybody got um, any pop-up coupons? I haven't seen any pop-ups. If you're sipping, put a one in the comments. I haven't seen any pop-up coupons in a while. It's been a little minute since I had a um, pop-up coupon. 
Um, yeah, I feel like the everyday. Somebody else has said something, and I don't want to move this thing too much because I got a feeling in my car. Oh, let me think it. Thanks. Exactly, that is true. The new stuff gets the attention, even though you got to remember they had that mega release day. All this stuff came out at the same time. You know, the Bridgerton collection as well as the everyday luxury. But I feel like the everyday luxury is most definitely getting a lot of attention. And actually, y'all, actually, I was going to go to the store. I got my bag. I was going to go to the store and exchange, do some more exchanges. Um, this is my backup. Y'all know I love this scent, this water lily spring. This is so, so good. If you have not gotten your hands on it, this is so, so good. Lilies, water, and musk. This collection is good. I'm just saying. And a lot of people is not talking about this collection, but because it's so small and only come with two different two fragrances, nobody is really talking about this this collection. But this collection is actually really really nice. But again, this is my backup. I do feel like I might be able to grab this on semi annual. And if it so happens to sell out before I'm able to get a backup, these last forever. <laughs> Fine fragrances last so long, so it's a chance that I probably wouldn't even get through the first one. So, and this is $18.95. I was going to exchange this for one of the everyday luxury items, so that's the reason why I brought it. And then this one. This one is the Rio, which is the Pineapple Mango. I bought a backup. This is one of my backups. Um... And I only bought two because I was like, what if it's good and it's an online exclusive? I don't want to have to place an order for to buy another one. So when I ordered it, I did order two. But the thing is, this one is only $17.95. So I probably will have to pay an extra dollar to do the, the exchange. And you, now they, I don't even know how they're doing exchanges. Is it product for product, price for price? I, they keep on changing stuff. So if I got to pay a dollar for, you know, the everyday luxury, then I'll do it. So I decided on um, exchanging this one, and I'm still kind of sort of on the fence. Yes, happy Thursday. I'm still kind of sort of on the fence. I have not smelled this one. Even though I bought two of them, I have not smelled it. If you got this, let me know what does it smell like. Is it super, super, like, juicy, sweet? Or is it kind of tangy? Now, y'all know your girl don't really care for, like, tangy. And that's the reason why I really don't buy a whole lot of pineapple. That's the reason why, uh, which ones are the everyday luxury? The ones that got the little ombre, the ones that people is calling the Bevel Collection. The collection is called Everyday Luxury. The one with Old Cherry. Lost in Santal, oh, Pink Parade, Pink Obsessed, that collection. It's called Everyday Luxury. But if you have this one, put in the comments, what does it smell like? Is it super sugary? Is it super sweet? Is it like an overripe pineapple? Leave it down in the comments, y'all, because I'm still, I'm still on the fence about exchanging because y'all know I don't do a whole lot of online orders, and this is an online exclusive. So I'm still somewhat on the fence about exchanging this one because, again, I have not smelled it at all. But if it's kind of like tart, that tart man, uh, pineapple, then I don't, I don't, I don't think I'm going to like it. I don't think I'm going to like it. So, yeah. So I don't know, y'all. Okay, let's see if I can see the scent notes. Um, pineapple juice, mango, and raspberry is the scent notes. So, leave in the comments. Let me know. Do you own this? Because this is online exclusive. So, we'll see. And then, too, I love, I love exchanging items that's online exclusive. I love that because somebody in the store be like, oh, wow, I haven't seen this one. Let me go ahead and grab it because I haven't seen it. 
So this is a way for somebody who don't order online at all to grab one. Oh, body care next week. Well, maybe I should hold off <laughs> and not return anything you purchased. I'm actually, I was going to do that today. But like I said earlier, I'm just going to do a Bofus order. Um, pink. I think I'm going to do a Bofus order. And then when I go pick up my order, then do enough, then get those last four candles that I want. Because I'm just going to do the $29 candles, which is the Bridgerton collection. And then when I go in the store, I'm either going to get the $26 ones that I want or either the $24 ones I want. It all depends. Like I said, you got to buy in twos. So if you purchase six candles, you're really only paying for three. So, yes. And then, like I said, if you got a coupon, you're saving a little bit extra. So if I decide to do... Four, then I'm only paying for two. Just quick math. I'm... The book, see, I got Audible. I heard the books wasn't all that, but I don't know. I don't know. Let's say the minutes. Is... I feel like two. But I went on and then I did grab only three minis, which I grabbed the. Um, daffodil daydream i grabbed two of those because y'all know in my area we don't have the full size which totally sucks and who idea was that to me that was just i'm just saying why would you only give certain stores the full size and not the other stores i don't get the whole logic behind that i really don't i feel like if y'all made it in a full size send it to all the stores why only send it to the test stores? That is so weird to me. So weird. And it's such a good scent. Oh my goodness. Daffodil Daydream is so good. Oh my goodness. I absolutely love, love, love that scent. At first, I was feeling a certain type of way about the candle. Because when I first burned, I'm like, man, this candle is not really throwing. It's very soft. But because I like the I like the scent, I was like, you know what? Okay, I'll deal with it. It's just more of a background. But as I'm burning the candle, it's starting to get a little bit stronger. For sure. Love it. Marshmallow floral. Mm, mm, mm. So, so good. That's the reason why I'm like, why? Why? Why only the mini? This is so good. And I think it's good in every form. But my question is, I can't remember, does it, matter of fact, I'm, got, the, got it up right here. Does it come in a wallflower? Does it come in a wallflower? That's what I need to know. Oh, they played they stuff. They played they stuff. It's so good, y'all. That creamy, that um, that marshmallow, and then the the marshmallow note, and then that floral note. Somebody was thinking when they made that scent. It is good, good, good. So good to me. Um, if you want to try it, you better get it because it is selling out. One of my stores, they don't have, I went for the soap. Remember on the last soap sale, I was looking for it. A lot of my stores didn't have it. And you in my area. So, yes, um, it's selling out. So, make sure if you want to grab, because it's an Eastern scent. And y'all know they are not going to um restock this Eastern stuff. Well, at least that's what she told me. I don't know. Okay. Really? Why is it enter? Okay, yeah, so far a couple of the stores in my area still have it. The Rivers Dome, Alton Dome, West County, Chesterfield Dome. Well, shoot, a lot of stores don't have it. <laughs> Only store is the Gallery, 
the sorrel olive in 270 and cross teas those are the only stores that have the candles if you know since you're in my area if that's if you want the candles but it's good don't and now i didn't know you worked for the store oh you said that's your go-to store look at me read me wrong no i'm not a fan of the gallery mm -mm. <laughs> no way and I'm starting not to be a fan of um, cross teas. My go-to store is Olive and 270 and Mid Rivers. Now, Mid Rivers, love, love, love Mid Rivers. Even though it's a little ways for me, but I love, love, love Mid Rivers. So friendly, helpful, nice. They don't be giving you no issues. Love Mid Rivers. So, yeah. Um, so, like I said, Daffodil Daydream, I feel like somebody dropped the ball on the full-size one. Yeah, I like Olive and 270 as well. They used to give me a little issue. Um, Olive and 270 used to give me a little issue, but now they're kind of cool. I used to didn't like that store, but now that they got different people working in there, it's kind of different. Good morning. But um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so yeah, I, because like I said, well, I was talking about the minis. Like I said, um, I got the minis, two of those. So that makes me I got three because I love the scent, and I notice when I wear it, I do spray a lot. I kind of overspray with all of Bath and Body Works fine fragrance mist because they just don't throw. And then today I'm wearing the um, let me go to it. I think it's. I think it's, um, let me see, let me see, let me see. I, I'm wearing If You Must and Doss, oh, Dossier, Glossier, Glossier, and I got this a little small one, and what I don't like about this is the fact that it's a rollerball. I don't like the fact that it's a rollerball. I don't like that. I like a spray. But I'm wearing a dossier along with If You Must because they're supposed to be a dupe. Love this scent. But when I tell you it's a skin scent, it don't project. That's the word I've been needing to use. <laughs> and I'm like thinking but project. It doesn't project. It's more of a skin scent. But I do really, really like this. And I would love to get the bigger bottle. But I think the bigger bottle is like $100. It might be a little bit over 100 And I feel like it's not worth it because it's, it's just such a, a skin scent. So pairing the two might give me the projection that I want. But again, with Bath & Body Works Fine Fragrance Mist, you know you got to over spray. So with that being said, more than likely, I'm going to get a backup of everything. <laughs> But yes, yes, yes. Good morning. So yeah, that's the set I'm wearing today. Glossier. Um, and it's upside down. Sorry. Is it Glossier or Glossier or however you pronounce it? Glossier U. Yeah, no, it's supposed, um, if you must, supposed to be a dupe for this. But I, like I said, I love the scent. So that is what I'm wearing today. Um, so yeah, y'all, I ain't really got much today. Like I said, the candles, buy one, get one free. We heard in the chat that there's going to be a body care sale next week, next weekend. So if you on the fence about exchanging some of your items, just hold off. I think that's what I'm going to do since we're going to have that sale because I really don't want to part with these items. I really don't. I really, really don't, especially with this one because I love this scent. And because I haven't smelled this one yet, and y'all still haven't told me, is this worth keeping? How does it smell? Is it a must-have? Is it okay to exchange it? it ain't all that. Y'all don't smell better. Leave that in the comments because I really don't know. I haven't I haven't sprayed it. And like I said, this is the backup. So yeah, let me know about that, y'all. Also, shout out to my MVP riders. Thank you, thank you, thank you for holding your girl down. Thank you for always coming through and spending this little time with me. I truly do appreciate it, y'all. 
Also, don't forget if you sip it with your girl, put a one in the comments. If you sip it with your girl, put a one. And I say that just so y'all can comment a little bit because I know that y'all been a little quiet today. Brightest blue mixed with the apple. See, I'm not really a big fan of the apple one. Even though the clean routine collection, the apple one, is the biggest part of that collection because y'all know I got it in everything. Almost the soap and the musk and uh what is the other one? The lavender one only comes in body wash, lotion, and the fine fragrance. Y'all know I love me some cranberry juice. I'm just saying. Love me some cranberry juice. Yes, have a great day. Yes. So yeah. Sipping with your girl, put a one in the comment. I say that just to get y'all to kind of you already know. You already know. Cran grape is my number one. Number even though the cran um, mango is good too, but that cran grape, number one. Love it, love it, love it. <laughs> so yeah, I say that to get y'all to chat so I can get my chat rate up. You know, so yeah. But I'm gonna let y'all go because it is getting late. If you sip it, sip it with your girl. Shout out to my MVP riders. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, that's good too. Snapple is most definitely good. If you um shout out to my MVP riders, thank you, thank you, thank you for holding your girl down. Thank you for always supporting me. I truly, truly appreciate it. Yes. Yes. Still rocking with the bell, y'all. Y'all know I love this bell. Love this bell. <laughs> so um, yes, also red. Reply. Shout out to my replay gang. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching the replay. I get it, I get it, I get it. You can't be here in the moment, so you're watching the replay. But replay gang, don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you subscribe to the channel because it helps me help them. I'm just saying. So subscribe to the channel. So anytime I shout out my MVP riders, you know I'm talking about you, you, and you too, boo. So yes, and y'all already know my girl said what everybody said. Y'all already know. Everybody say it. Let's say it together. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Emoji crew. Emoji crew. Emoji crew. Emoji crew. Shout out to my emoji crew. I see y'all holding that comment area down. Truly do appreciate that. You said April 8th? April 8th. Totally true. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be looking out for that. So, yes. Holding that comment area down. I truly do appreciate it. Love the fact that y'all leave comments, y'all leave emojis, all of that stuff help help me help them because they don't know. They don't know. They don't know we out here having fun, out here laughing. Y'all see all the bloopers. Y'all see, y'all gonna get it all. Y'all gonna see it all. I'm just saying. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for always supporting your girl. I cannot say that more than enough. Whether you support me with super chat or support me by sending me gifts. Or you support me by sharing my videos or just coming into the stream and just looking at my videos. I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. And I cannot say that enough. Y'all just don't know how much it means to me. So thank you, thank you, thank you for your support. Thank you for always coming through for your girl. Yes, y'all. So I'm going to get out of here, go home and eat, place this order. Hopefully, y'all have an amazing day. The sky is so beautiful. The sky is beautiful. The temperature is 49. Looks like it's going to be a pretty decent day today. Well, it's always a decent day, except when it's super cold. Now, nah, when it's cold, mm -mm. <laughs> I ain't no fan of the cold weather, but yes, y'all. So, hopefully, in your area, it's amazing. The weather is good. I know for all y'all Cali people and Florida people, I know y'all just enjoying that weather, yes. Oculus weekend, baby. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Happy shopping to everybody who's going to shop. It's raining in New York. Y'all know I listen to Hot 97 every morning. Hot 97 New York radio station with Ebro. Ooh. <sighs> Ebro, Ebro, Ebro. Ebro. Mm. Mm -hmm. When I tell y'all, whoo, mm -hmm. Ebro, 
I'm just saying. I'm just saying, y'all. I'm just saying. I know I'm married. I know, but I ain't blind. <laughs> and when I tell you, Ebro, now I don't even usually go for like skin guys. I'm just saying. I love me a nice chocolate. Ooh, chocolate, man. I'm just saying. Or or like a nice, like a, a caramel. Mm, mm, mm. But Ebro, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, Ebro, you can get it. Y'all didn't hear me say that. I didn't say that out loud. Did I say that out loud? I ain't say that out loud. Y'all didn't hear that. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying, y'all. He brought. Mm, mm, mm. Woo. And I think my husband, he already know. He know I would never. Mm -hmm. He know. He come on now. He know I would never. <laughs> I'm just joking, yeah. <laughs> I'm just joking. It's all jokes. I just want to make y'all laugh. <laughs> okay, y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna get out of here, but I'm just saying, y'all. Ebro is. Woo. Mm, that's just, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, that's just, just a little light skin, light skin texture, but I'm going to let y'all go, have an amazing day, and I'll see y'all tomorrow, all right. <laughs>